fact, Romano, it looks like you're doing some chemistry. Hi, right, I'd like to go over a question with you on colligative properties. What makes this problem very rare is I'm actually going to use two colligative properties in one. I'm going to first use the freezing point data and use that information to calculate an osmotic pressure. So come along and let's have a look. Now, an aqueous solution of urea had a freezing point of negative 0.52 degrees Celsius. And I give you the freezing point constant of 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal. What would be the solution osmotic pressure at 37 degrees Celsius? Now, before we start this, let me review two things. Molality is the moles of solute over kilograms of solvent, and molarity is moles of solute over the liters of solution. Now, I'm gonna be using a very special trick in a little while, but we need to understand that I can only use this trick because the density of water is equal to one gram per ml. So therefore, a thousand grams, which is a kilogram, is equivalent to one liter. So that means that molarity is approximately equal to molality. So you gotta remember that, that's gonna be the gimmick. All right, first of all, this is the structure of urea. And therefore, um, this molecule is not gonna break up, and therefore the I is gonna be equal to one, because it's a non-electrolyte. You first write the formula, delta T is KFM times I. We lowered the freezing point by 0 0.52 degrees, we know the constant, I is 1, and we solve for little m. Now, little m is 0 0.280, which is approximately equal to big M. That's the gimmick. Now that you know that big M is equal to little m, I can say that pi, which is the osmotic pressure, is MRTI, Marty, but we all know I is equal to 1. So we're going to plug in pi, there's the m, there's the R constant, and there's the temperature. Notice I had to convert Celsius into Kelvin. And when you multiply it out, you get 7.10. That's a really great question that could easily land. And it's a unique question because I never really see any books or any authors have two colligative properties in one. So I thought you'd enjoy it. All right, good day to you. Hey, Dr. Romano, do you know this is a cemetery? I'm well aware of that. Good day to you. Good day to you, sir. Will I see you here later? She's scary in here.